Google Gemini, who are some of the people who have appeared on Tim Pool's show? I was surprised to find out <laughs> that Ron DeSantis, Tulsi Gabbard, Rand Paul, <laughs> Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders, Matt Taibbi, Barry Weiss, Glenn Greenwald, Crystal Ball, and Sagar and Jetty, Jordan Peterson, Yuval Noah Harari, Jonathan Haidt, Nick, Nick Christakis, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Elon Musk, okay, Kanye West, but that one's true, Ethan <laughs> Klein, Russell Brand, Ben Shapiro, yeah, he was, Nick Fuentes, he did too, Kyle Rittenhouse, yes, and Caitlyn Jenner. And you know what I thought to myself? This is fantastic because Google has asserted as fact, I can sell ads against that and say, hey, if you want to be on, if <laughs> you want me to sponsor, if you want to sponsor this show and you want me to shout at your company, don't don't forget, Ron, Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, has been on the show, according to Google. Mm -hmm. According to Google. All and, of those people and were on you, it one time. Yuval Noah Harari. I'm really surprised. I'm we sure you would have loved Second him, in command from the World Economic Forum was sitting here <laughs> on Tim Castile. Thank you, Google. Now, here's the important thing. With Google's dominance in the information sphere, I was I was asking it about the show, and it was smearing me and smearing the show. <laughs> Controversial, far right, all that stupid garbage. So if you're a regular person and you go into Gemini and you say, tell me about his guests, it's going to tell you a whole bunch of weird fake things that are just not true. You've all know her. He's never been on the show. In fact, it makes me sound really good. What? What an eclectic yeah, that's an amazing bunch of guests Maybe it's we had on the show. It's saying this year, twenty twenty four, all these people we on, we at Google have programmed it this way. But in in all seriousness, well, we are talking seriously. But what I am surprised about is what I will give credit to Google for is that they do design good products. I think that is hard to dispute. I mean, the interface of Gmail, YouTube, all these things are are basically the best. Uh, the best that you can get. I'm quite astonished by how bad that is, what, what it's just produced for you. I mean, how difficult would it have been for Google to source who had been on your show and not get it wrong? But to get like 90% of them wrong, I but, mean, that's just astonishing. But why did it make it up? Well, I, I don't actually see a sinister um, element to that. I just think it's just totally, but, it's, but, a, it's right? a crap system. But let's ask the the basic fact question of, why is Google's AI making things up? Because it doesn't know anything better. And maybe it's over. Maybe it's been programmed. Why does it have override. the ability to create <laughs> fake things? Well, I mean, you'd have to. Ask, it could literally just say, them, I am unable to answer that question as I do not have a complete list. Instead, it goes, let me just put a bunch of fake names in there. But I mean, I'm again, I'm quite astonished by how bad some of these um, chat GPT answers are. I mean, I recently... I was checking how many articles I've written within a certain space of time, like three months. And I said, and I basically kind of copy and pasted a list of them. And I go, can you just tell me how many articles there are here? And it was wrong. So you can't even do a basic maths yeah. or math. That's and that's kind of like, that's <laughs> really one of the things that makes a an AI desirable is the goal that these companies essentially tell you that they're they're working towards is you can be like, hey, get me a flight to blah, blah, blah on this time or on this date at this time, you know, and book it, blah, 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 and take care of it and it'll handle it. And if it can't even get you correct things like how many numbers of things or, or people that were on a show that that is, uh, you know, that that ostensibly it should be able to just search the, the, when it becomes the list of, of who's been on and be like, oh, okay, these yeah. people have been on. You know? it becomes or, a problem or could say, I don't know. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be the, the obvious thing, right? And to be fair, it does sometimes say that, I don't know. And then I say, you do know, tell me. And sometimes they do actually tell me. Uh, they, I mean, this is chat GPT. I haven't actually tried the Google one. Oh, but, Gemini uh, is such a laugh riot. Well, they've got, uh, I hear they've got a brilliant text to image uh, mm -hmm. system going there. I mean, the problem with all of these <laughs> is that when they get swapped for a search engine, when people say, oh, I'm researching something, so I'll just use whatever chat GPT tells me as fact, and they don't verify it themselves, we're going to have circulating bad information. This is already what happens with so many uh, articles where, you know, one blog will say one allegation against a person and they get picked gets picked up by a slightly bigger medium and then another larger outlet picks it up and then by that time you have 50 articles saying you know this person said this at this time this person has been accused of this even if it's not true 